Hi, my name is Stephen Deleuze. The first piece I will be doing for you is from the Eros Trilogy by Nikki Silver. The second is from Dogs Barking by Ray Zadlik. I don't find my private parts particularly uh, attractive. No! What I meant was, well, uh, I don't find my penis any less attractive than yours, say. But then I'm assuming a lot because I haven't seen your penis, and you haven't seen mine. And you're not going to. What I mean is, well, we, we all find certain lines attractive to the eye. And, well, let's face it, I mean, the scrotum, it, it looks like you've been in the bathtub for a really long time before you've even gotten in. And females, now they have it no better. Apologies to Georgia O'Keeffe, but the vagina is no Mona Lisa. It's like when I was a kid. I used to sit on the edge of my bed, right? And I would take my penis between my index finger and my thumb, and I would squeeze the tip of it. What are you looking at me like that for? Everyone has done that. Well, everyone with an imagination, at least. Alex and I used to play this game. If you would ever spot an eyelash loose on the other's cheek or, say, the side of their nose, you would gather it up and hold it out for them to blow, and they would get a wish. Now she found one on me once, and I looked at her and I thought, I wish this was enough. You see, Alex, she had this way of saying I love you that made me cringe. It was this self-pitying tone that really meant don't leave me, as if she knew in her heart that I wanted to go, and she figured that if she packed on enough emotional guilt, then maybe I would stay. <laughs> and when I did leave, I thought, you know, at least I'm never going to hear that bleeding tone again. But I did hear it. And this time it was me saying it to Carolyn. I love you, Carolyn. Don't leave me. It made me think that, you know, maybe all those times when Alex said I love you, maybe that was exactly what she meant. Thank you.